Hey guys, I'm gonna be quiet because it's kind of late and I think everyone's asleep except for my dad. Um, it's New Year's Eve. I know this vlog is gonna come out quite a while after New Year's Eve, but it is New Year's Eve and I'm making a vlog. Um, it's 11.23 right now. It's a bit chilly outside. Um, I mean inside too. I haven't been outside in a while. Um, but yeah, it's chilly inside. It's chilly everywhere. That's the truth. Um, I don't know, maybe it is warm outside. I haven't been outside. Now I may, now, it, now it's just looking like I'm lying and I actually did go out. You know, I'm just gonna drop this entire conversation. <sighs> okay, I should restart this vlog. It's chilly, I'm cold a little bit. But anyways, it's um, 11.24 now, um, New Year's Eve. I'm not staying up till midnight. Um, I was originally going to, but then I, at this point I just, I don't have that much to do for the next 35 minutes. I don't really like want to do, and it's no fun to celebrate alone, like there's nothing special in just having the clock app open and then like seeing it go to 2017, it's like, okay, I'm going to go to bed now. There's no one else up, so um, it's really weird because like. I've known the end of 2016. I'm gonna try and talk quieter. Well, I have to talk over the fan, but I'm gonna try and not talk too loudly because everyone else is asleep, like I said. But, um, it's so weird because I've, it's been quite a while now that I've been seeing the end of 2016 coming like, oh wow, like, it's, soon it's not gonna be 2016 anymore. But the 2017, ugh, just wow. The last time we had a year this bad, 2017, that bad of a year, um, I didn't really know it. Um, that would have been 2013. I'm a big guy of numbers, and it this makes me mad because 17 is a prime number. Um, the last odd number we had was 2015, no duh. But 15 is divisible by 5. I don't know, you, your brains probably work differently, but my brain is really math based in like, Every single number I see, I like, it's either good or bad, like it's either a number, it's either a number that I can devise and it makes me happy, or it's divisible by something like 17 actually, those random numbers like 289, I don't know, I just made that up, but I don't know, maybe it is divisible, and it's like divisible by 17 and nothing else, like, oh, that's helpful, um, I'm gonna see if it's a... Let's see, do you guys, I doubt that's divisible by 17, 17 is a hard number to be divisible by. I did just make that up on the spot, so if it is, that's going to be pretty interesting. Okay, so let's add 68 to, no, let's add, let's go bigger, let's add 102 to 170, so that's 270. I have obviously heard that number from somewhere before because if I'm not mistaken I just picked a random number that's divisible by 17. I probably heard the number 289 before and no one was divisible by 17 because that's so random. It, I don't know, when I thought of the number it clicked in my head as something that would totally be divisible by 17 and nothing else. But like actually, okay, so 17 goes into 170 10 times. 10 times 17 is 170, right? And then 2 times 17 is 34. 3 times 34 is 90 plus 12. So that's 102. So that that's divisible by 17 by 6. Add those together, then we have 102 plus 170 is 272. That number is divisible by 17. Add 17 to that. That's um, 289. So 289 is literally divisible by 17. I don't even know what's going on right now. Um, I think that's a sign that 2017 isn't going to be that bad of a year after all. Something's going to happen 280 times this year, and we don't know what, and we will never find out what because I literally don't have that much time. Oh no. That can be. It probably can be. Um, what's? Let's see. The original I had six, ten. Oh, okay. There you go. I just answered my question. 
Why did I think 289 was divisible by 17? Because the square root of 289 is 17. That makes a lot more sense now. Um, it's not a random number, it just clicked in my head. We learned perfect squares last year. Okay. Still kind of crit. Well, anyways, moving on. So let's stop talking about um, 289 and 17. Um, so yeah, it's kind of crazy to think. I've been writing 20 2016 for quite a long time. And um, it's pretty, like, on papers, you know. You know what I mean, right? Papers and stuff. It's pretty insane to have to think about the idea of having to write 2017. Like 2016, so easy to say, 2016, 2016, but 2017, I feel like there's se 17, 17, I think there's three syllables, 16, yeah, see there's an extra syllable in there, so it's harder to say, 2017, 2017, let's go guys, it's 2017. That's so weird. And it's real. what's even weirder is to think about, um, I'm in California, to think about the fact that, like, everyone in New York is in 2017, like, this is, that's the year they're in right now. That's actually really weird to think about. Um, I was watching YouTube on the computer, and then I'm like, and then I'm like, oh, I don't know what to watch. I went on the homepage, and it was, I saw the New York New Year's live stream, and I looked at the clock, and it was 9.02. In California, the New Year's Eve ball drops at nine o'clock literally missed the ball drop by two minutes i hop on and they're just starting new york um the new york new york the frank sinatra song which they started playing like 30 seconds after the ball dropped i was like oh my gosh are you kidding me did we really just like we got home from dinner at 8 12 and i was like sweet we get to watch the ball drop on live youtube because we made it home in time and then we just ugh, I can't believe we missed it. It was so horrible. Um, whatever. So yeah, New Year's coming up. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to make a vlog to talk about the fact that it's weird to have to even think about the idea that we are not in 2016 anymore. That we are in full out 2000. Or I mean, actually, we're in 20, 2016. I should write 20. You know, I don't even want to find a pen. Actually, I found a pen. I don't want to write it down still. You know what I'm going to. Where's that pen? Oh, I'm missing one of my pens. I used to have three pens in here. Now I have, and then I had two. And I pulled it up the other day for like wrapping paper. Now I only have one. It's the daydreams one. All right, I'm gonna write it. I'm gonna write December. 31st 2016 I'm gonna write 2016 again I'm gonna try writing 2017 that's so 2017 is easier to write but wow 2016 has more it flows more does like you can do the curves 2017 is like the one and the seven are just like sticks Wow, it's almost 2017. It's weird though because like I'm not gonna be there when 2017 starts, but I'm gonna wake up and it's going to be 2017. You know, it'd be really weird if you got on a plane that flew um, west on New Year's and it just like flew at the right speed. So like right before it became New New Year's, you crossed over the time zone. And it was like, nope, we're still in 2016. Shh, and then it's about to flip, and then no, just change time zones. Um, and that we have another hour into New Year, until New Year's, and then you just flew, and then you finally landed in Hawaii and celebrated there. That'd be, I think that'd be a really cool idea. I don't know, just a thought. Anyways, um, 2017 is coming up. When you're watching this video, it's already 20, 2017, and I've already learned to deal with this hard life that I'm about to go through. Um, 2018 is going to be a lot better, even number. Whew. I hope you all enjoyed this video this video that you are watching in 2017 the year 2017 the year of the prime i wonder if 2017 itself is prime i'm not gonna work that on on video but um well 2017 the year you are watching this video which is not 2016 i'm gonna go think about what a nice 2016 it's been 
and how 2016 is over and then I'm gonna go to bed so I hope you all enjoyed the video if you liked the video leave a like if you dislike the video leave a dislike and share your opinion in the comment section down below and I will see you next time guys bye bye bye